Hi, my name is Emmanuel Gonzalez. I grew up in the small agricultural town of El Centro, California. Many of my family uh, were or currently are field workers. My grandfather came to the United States under the Bracero program uh, right around the end of World War II. And he worked in agricultural fields ranging from onion and lettuce to date palm trees and broccoli. Now, this really influenced my academic background. However, when I started off college, I didn't really have a clue as to what it was I wanted to study. I did my undergraduate studies in the Pacific Northwest, where I really started to develop a strong interest in plants. And this came back to my life uh, background. Um, I took a botany course in which we studied how plants sensed and responded to drought conditions. And that really interested me. And I also developed an interest in photography. I went out to the forests in the Pacific Northwest and I would just take pictures of plants. And this really uh, ultimately combined into what it is I currently do today. Now, during my undergraduate studies, I did an internship at Cornell University. Here, I had the opportunity of studying wild relatives of tomato. Now, my interest here was in understanding how they responded to cold stress. So I took these wild relatives of tomato and I put them into a freezer under a greenhouse condition. And I just measured how they responded in terms of their molecules that they were producing and the phenotypes or the expression of genes that they were expressing. Now, my goal here was to identify genes that made these plants more resilient to cold stress. Today, I am now a graduate student in the School of Plant Sciences at the University of Arizona. I have merged my interest in photography and plants, and I now use the world's largest plant imager to study both lettuce and sorghum. And you can see that imager back here. What really interests me is solving bottlenecks that prevent us from asking important scientific questions. My important scientific question is understanding how plants respond to drought stress. As climate change continues, there's gonna be increasingly lower amounts of water availability. So studying how plants respond to these conditions is vital. The way that I study this is processing terabytes of image and 3D data that comes off of the imager, imaging system. My interest here is in watching how plants develop over time and see their responses in their temperature, their photosynthetic efficiency, and their overall size and shape. Ultimately, the goal here is to identify genes that are related to adaptive traits that may allow these plants to better thrive under stressful conditions. And moving on to the general application of HPC. So the HPC allows me to process data quickly, efficiently, reproducibly, and in an automated fashion. How I do this is by leveraging distributed computing frameworks for par parallel processing of data, data management systems for storage of raw and processed data, and machine learning and artificial intelligence for automated processing and information extraction. This research has enabled me to study how plants respond to drought stress. And it allows me to collect information from this imaging system and ultimately create knowledge from that and understand how plants sense and respond to drought stressors. Now, some of the um, some of the questions, some of the more detailed questions that I ask are, is there a time in which plants are most affected by drought stress? How quickly do plants recover from stress? And are there some plants that respond better than others? Now, these questions require lots of data, and it's important that we take that raw data, extract the information, and ultimately build that knowledge. This takes time, but with high-performance computing systems, such as those here at the University of Arizona, we can leverage multiple cores for parallel processing to quickly extract information from raw data and to get to uh, a faster pace of extracting that knowledge that will ultimately allow us to develop resilient crops.